We had a historic apology today to the family of a slave who sued for his freedom. It happened in the front of the statue of the Chief Justice who presided over the Supreme Court 160 years ago. Tony Marsala joins us now with more. Attorney General of the United States, Chief Justice of the United States, Roger Brooke Taney was a racist. He did believe black people were inferior to white people. So if he, if he woke up right now, he looked out there and he would say, what the hell is going on? I mean, I'm, sure he would, I'm sure he wouldn't be happy about this. This, a day of reconciliation. This, a day when two families bound by the weight of American history met on the grounds of our state house. This, a day marking the 160th anniversary of the Dred Scott decision by Taney's Supreme Court. There was a really mixed uh, views in my family about it. As a, a lot of people, it was like they were proud of the name because it was uh, a chief justice of the Supreme Court for other rulings he had made that was not the Dred Scott decision. And yet everybody agreed that there was a complete smear on our name and that it was a terrible, terrible decision. Some decisions last a lifetime. This one will last forever. Dred Scott was a slave who sued for his freedom. The court's decision was that slaves were not citizens and therefore had no rights in American courts. It continued slavery into the Western expansion beyond Missouri. The ruling happened March 6, 1857. Today, March 6, 2017, Tawney's family apologized to the Scots. There's clearly something about seeing the Scots and the Tawneys side by side working on together in reconciliation that strikes a real chord at people. It's an open door for us to say, if the Scots and the Tawnies can reconcile, can't you? Lynn Jackson is the great-great-granddaughter of Dred Scott. She runs the Dred Scott Foundation in St. Louis. She's hoping that today's apology can lead to a much greater reconciliation. If you look at relationships in our nation, these are supposed to be the two who are supposed to really hate each other. But it's not about hatred, it's about understanding and relationship and then relationship building and trust. Tony Marsala, ABC2 News. What a story that was. There have been discussions to remove the Roger Brooke Taney statue from the Capitol grounds. The two families don't want the statue taken down, but they are asking for statues of Dred Scott and Frederick Douglass to stand with the Roger Brooke Taney statue. The families believe we should learn from our history not to bury it.